to assess coordination, you'll evaluate rapid alternating movements and point-to-point -point movements. Begin by assessing rapid alternating movements. To assess the arms, show the patient how to move his hands. Observe the speed, rhythm, and smoothness of the movements. The patient's dominant hand may be better coordinated. Using your right hand, I'd like you now to Now ask the patient to tap the distal joint of his thumb with the tip of his index finger as rapidly as possible. And the other hand? Again, observe the movement's speed, rhythm, and smoothness. Touch the tip of my Next, finger with assess right point-to-point -point movements. Do this right. several times, moving forth. your finger so that the patient has to change directions. Observe the smoothness and accuracy of pointing. Clumsiness and overshooting with this movement suggest cerebellar disease. Up, then, with your finger in one place, ask the patient to it. point to it, raise his arm, and lower it to touch your finger. After several times, have the patient do this with his eyes closed. Inaccurate pointing with the eyes closed suggests a loss of position sense. Repeat on the other side. I want you to tap my to assess leg coordination, ask the patient to tap your hand as quickly as possible with the ball of each foot. Note any slowness or awkwardness. Compare sides. The feet normally perform less well than the hands. To test point-to-point -point movements of the legs, ask the patient to place one heel on the opposite knee and then run it down his shin to the big toe. The patient should be able to do this smoothly and accurately. Note any tremor or awkwardness. Assess both legs. Continue the examination by observing the patient's gait, which provides information about coordination, position sense, and muscle strength. Slowly across the room. Turn, As the patient walks, observe his posture, balance, arm swing, and leg movements. The gait should be relaxed and balanced with easy alternating arm swings. The face and head should lead the rest of the body on turns. Next, ask the patient to walk heel to toe in a straight line. This kind of gait, also called tandem walking, assesses cerebellar function and position sense. Then have the patient walk on his toes to test the strength of plantar flexion and on his heels to test dorsiflexion at the ankles. These actions also test balance. Next, ask the patient to hop in place, hop and first down. on one leg and then the other. This ability indicates right an foot. intact motor system in the legs normal cerebellar function, and good position sense. Good. And I want you to stand just on your Finally, right ask the patient to do a shallow knee bend, first on one leg and then on the other. Down.